page for the month of May. So if you'd like to pick that up, it has all the affirmations that we're using uh, for May and maybe some updated announcements in there as well. Um, first of all, who came to see Geneve Rose Mitchell? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Was that such a fun time? So, you know, next time we have her, you just can't miss her. She is getting better. Let's see. She started here performing for us when she was eight. And she was awesome then, you remember that. And now she's 23, and so she's doing a whole lot more. But I'll tell you what, she is blossoming. Her voice is fabulous and beautiful, and her personality is just so quirky and fun. You just can't leave here without really had a good time. So thank I'm you, like, David. Right, I bought like 15 cowboy hats. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that happened uh, Friday night, so thank you all for coming to that. Our live music will continue in the month of um, May, June. June, and we start our date nights outside in June, June, July, and August, and David and Tamara Haas are our first uh, music group to start a date night in June. In June. And there is a, a handout over there that gives all of the live music and, and what is happening with that if you'd like to pick that up as well. This Wednesday evening uh, at 7 p.m. we will have even song. Am I saying that like this? That yes, time? so we, in candlelight we do that calling and opening to the presence within using song and silence. One of my favorite things that we do here, so I look forward to it on Wednesday. Yep, 7 p.m. Um, I want to put a plug in for next Sunday, so that's the third Sunday, and we will have a workshop following Potluck next week, and the workshop will be kind of two of them. Remember, we postponed one because it kept running into choir practice for Easter, so I'm going to smush the two together. The workshops this whole year will focus on spiritual mind treatment. Um, we are... Our, our focus for the whole year is like spiritual practice and spiritual mind treatment is something that we really, uh, it's like the crux of science of mind. And so we're gonna have some workshops to get a little more in depth about spiritual mind treatment and what that is. If you don't know, that is what you're asking for when you put a request in the prayer request box. And then Lou has been trained in spiritual mind treatment. She is a practitioner of science of mind. So I, uh, I would like to help us all to understand spiritual mind treatment is another way of saying affirmative prayer or the way that we pray. And so that is going to be happening happening next week. It's just an hour long workshop right after um, Potluck Sunday, and the it's a love offering donation. Okay, yard sale is coming up this this week. 
The 17th, 18th, and 19th, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you can bring your items anytime, even up until the yard sale. Um, anybody uh, who would like to volunteer, we appreciate your volunteerism. On Wednesday, we're going to meet here at 10 a.m. and we'll start pricing and putting things out. Thursday, we will be here at 8 a.m. till 4. Friday, we'll be here at 8 a.m. till about 2. So no need to sign up anymore. If you did sign up, please show up. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, but you don't need to sign up to show up. Just come if you'd like to help. And thank you to everybody who is bringing things, who has signed up to, to volunteer. Our yard sales are fabulous. People are waiting for our yard sales. So they love that. Okay, I think I'm finished. I'm not all the way finished. I'm just finished with announcements. Don't get excited. Okay, so I just invite you right now to relax right here in this present moment in which we have all gathered together here this morning. So let's just all breathe and turn our attention within. As we do that, we can become attuned to that invisible divine presence within us and everywhere around us. We tune in to that divine energy source that we call God. And together, we can remember why we gather in spiritual community as we speak our vision statement together now. <clears throat> This center offers a path for awakening to the realization of oneness. Open hearts, inspired life, empowered love. Our spiritual community welcomes all people to embrace oneness as the truth of our being. Together, we see a world of love, peace, and abundance for all.
and in the silence. Let us attune ourselves inward into that place of silence, that place where we come face to face with the essence of our being. As I know this essence is part of the one, of life itself, the allness, the spirit, the creator, the creation of the universe. And this spirit that resides in me and in you resides everywhere, for it is the essence, the basis, the origin of all life. And it is whole, perfect, and complete. That life is all good. It is divine love, compassion, joy, health, abundance. It is the essence of the air we breathe. It is everything. And as I align my consciousness with this, I know that I am a perfect expression of this one life, that my presence is an expression of all that spirit is. And as I know this is true for me, I know this is true for each and every one. For everyone is a product, an expression, a living essence of that divine in form. And we are united in this multiple essence of living. And so today, I declare for each one of us that our world is perfect now, that peace, love, joy, prosperity, health, and harmony, and order are all qualities that are manifesting in our lives that we bring forth the best that is within us to share with others, that that divine love that radiates from our hearts radiates to all that we meet in a widening circle. And I am grateful that this is the truth for each and every one of us. And as we attune ourselves to this higher self. All of our doubts and fears, feelings of separation are released. And we feel that unity as our light shines forth, as we are guided by that divine wisdom, by that divine truth, always enfolded in love and it's a great comfort knowing that spirit is all there is so i turn my attention to the prayer chest knowing that each and every request is already being healed that healing is being revealed in the mind of god the divine wisdom, guidance, unconditional love, and the fullness of life is active in each request. And divine light action is taking place right now. And this fullness of life is present and the truth always prevails. And today I bless this service, I bless this gathering, and I bless all who participate in our service today. The staff, the volunteers, the music, the hospitality, everyone who takes part. We are all divine love, just radiating and enhancing the world of each other. So with total gratitude for the good in our lives, for the divine love that encompasses everything 
I just simply say thank you, for I am so grateful for this truth. And I release this word into the law, knowing it is already so. It is already a divine idea coming into manifestation. And I just relax, knowing that all is well, as we join together and declare, and so it is. If there's something that is weighing you down, something that's causing you concern, please put your request in the prayer chest and the practitioner will do affirmative prayer this week on your behalf. There's a lot of difference between listening and hearing. J.K. Chesterton. Listening is a spiritual act that is best served when practiced intentionally. Josephine Shepherd, and from Mother Teresa. God speaks in the silence of the heart. Listening is the beginning of prayer. Thank you, Lou. All right, well... You can see we're doing something special today uh, for all of the women, because uh, we're so grateful to all of our mothers, all of the women. And so uh, we dedicate this day to you. And I would like to start with a blessing, a blessing of the women, a prayer for Mother's Day. The one divine cosmic being of love and intelligence, knits us together in our mother's womb and breathes us into being. We are grateful for this gift of life and for life bringing us into this world through our mothers. We recognize the risks they may have taken to carry us, nourish us, and protect us 
within their bodies. Thank you for the women in our life, for our mothers, and for those who have been like mothers to us. We are grateful for their tenderness when we were helpless or hurt. We are grateful for their encouragement and wisdom when we were unsure. We are grateful for their correction and perseverance so we would stay true. We are grateful for the way they guided us into knowing God's truth. Too often we took their love and sacrifice for granted. Forgive us. Help us to live in such a way that our words and actions bring honor to them and to our sacred divine source of life. Divine Spirit gathers us all to the safety of truth that God is love. For many, this day is full of joy and celebration. But for others, it is an especially painful day. We pour out a healing, consolation, and peace on those who are grieving the loss of their mother or the loss of their child. On families separated by distance or disagreement on families plagued by disappointment, abandonment, addiction, or abuse. A compassionate spirit shelters us all beneath outstretched arms. We claim God's healing, consolation, and peace for women whose desire to be a mother has not been fulfilled for mothers and guardians who are exhausted as they labor in balance as they labor to balance work and raise children for mothers and guardians who are overwhelmed as they struggle to bring up children in the midst of poverty disease or war the need is deep and we feel the healing power of God right now. Our knowing is strong and true. I invite all the women and girls in the room to stand as they are able right now. Those who are seated are asked to shower these words of blessing upon those who are standing. Thank you. Thank you, Divine Spirit, for every woman and girl here today and for everyone we have brought with us in our hearts today. We know the divine purpose and plan for their lives is being revealed to them from within them right now. We listen and trust. We bless them knowing the unconditioned love of God envelops them and nurtures their souls, deepening their love and trust of the divine wisdom within them, strengthening them, empowering them, and anointing them with this wholeness of spirit that their faith, influence, and achievement will bring the glory of peace, harmony, and love to this earth. In great gratitude, we celebrate these women and women in the making, for they are all precious to us as they are to the great one divine spirit in which they are created anew in every moment. So it is. And you may be seated. So
So today we will offer a blessing of the hands at our altar for all of the women here and all of the women who may not be present with us today, but we have brought in our hearts. Through blessing our hands, we acknowledge that they are holy hands given to fulfill divine purposes. This blessing symbolizes our belief in the sacredness of our everyday lives and work. The sacredness of our everyday lives. Through this blessing, we recognize the divine presence at work within all of us here and now. I'm going to share a story now. Uh, it is by Marlene Ainsworth called My Mother's Hands. She says, hands are love in action. My mother was a housework wonder woman. She blasted dirt and dust out of existence. Mum worked her household magic before washing machines, dishwashers, and vacuum cleaners were invented. She spent hours at the kitchen sink washing dishes by hand and plunging her arms in rinsing water up to her elbows in the laundry. On her knees, with homemade dress tucked into her knickers, she scrubbed and polished the kitchen floor so thoroughly the queen could have eaten her scone with jam and cream off of it. <laughs> Mum kneaded bread dough by hand every second day, rubbed in butter and rolled our pastry for weekend fruit pies, chopped onions at the furious pace and, uh, oh, I can't read that word. Hmm. Something. She, oh, I know what it is. She spread cakes with skillful grace. Okay, frosted cakes is what she means. Then it was out in the garden where she planted stalks and petunias in profusion and coaxed the grass to grow up to the very edge of the quiet suburban road to make our front yard one of the local attractions in the neighborhood. When I was 10 years old, Dad joined a religion that kept Jewish holidays. To celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles with others of like faith, we had to drive right across Australia four times, from Perth to Sydney and back, a total of 8,000 kilometers each trip. Dad's weekly wage wouldn't cover the cost of the petrol for these arduous expeditions, so Mum went out to earn it with her bare hands, cleaning other people's houses as diligently as she cleaned ours. Her hands. Ah, her hands. By her late thirties, they were wrinkled, veined, cracked, and always dry. They weren't nice to look at and felt hard and cold when she held mine. Tubes of soothing cream were in the bathroom, bedroom, and car. But no amount of cream would turn them pale and soft and smooth like I wished they were. When I was in my late 30s, I went to a popular buffet chain called Sizzler with my five children. As I was helping myself to a generous scoop of their famous potato wedges, my hands caught the strong lights. What I saw made me almost drop the serving spoon. I was looking at my mother's hands, but they were mine. They weren't pale, soft, and smooth. They were wrinkled, veined, cracked, dry, and freckled. I drew my hands back in horror. I didn't want to look at them or let anyone else see them either. I felt ashamed. My hands were flawed. They had turned into my mother's. Over the next few years, I struggled with how my hands looked. I hid them behind my back like a coy child and invested in anti-age creams, skin rejuvenating oils, and housework-free holidays. Nothing I did made any difference. 
One day, while sitting quietly alone in the sun, I held my hands out and looked at them. I really looked at them. Instead of flicking my eyes away in denial, I traced the veins and wrinkles. I felt the cracks. I ran my fingers over knuckles, bumps, and freckles. Then I cried. My hands, like my mother's hands before me, have done so much. Without their selfless devotion to my bidding, I'd be nearly powerless. These hands I despised for so many years were almost worthy of worship. Hands scrub and dig. They wave, play finger games. They type and point, weave and tickle. They pat and stroke and hold. <clears throat> hands are love in action. So they get old and worn out. I love my hands now. I thank them. And I thank my mother for her hands. Every imperfection tells a loving story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody relate to that story? <laughs> so on with our ritual for today, all roses symbolize God's love at work in the world. But different colors of roses also symbolize different spiritual concepts. Like red roses may symbolize passion and, and sacrifice. And yellow roses may symbolize wisdom and joy. And pink roses, gratitude and peace. As a way to show appreciation and gratitude for our women and mothers today, we offer a blessing of the hands using roses. As each woman here today comes forward to receive a blessing using the pink rose petals, all of which been taken from the same one rose, Using that unique individual rose petal, we recognize the diversity and uniqueness of each woman here today. Her authentic self, which is unfolding from within the one rose, the one true nature, the one God's beautiful creation of the one life expressing as heard today. So I, first of all, would like to invite Lou to come up to offer the blessing of hands to each woman that comes forward. Um, and we will, David will play a, a song. The words will be on the screen and you'll recognize this song because we're using it throughout the whole month, but it's perfect today to bless our women. So uh, take your time coming forth uh, to the altar for a blessing. And then after the blessing, you can choose a gift from our table to celebrate uh, Mother's Day. More work for you to do. <laughs> but it's fun work, right? So come on up, Lou, right here. And whenever you feel uh, moved to come forward and let each woman have her, her time having the blessing with Lou as we play. Just take your time and enjoy this.
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I have a roomy quote. That which God said to the rose and caused it to laugh in full-blown beauty, he said to my heart and made it a hundred times more beautiful. <laughs> Let's all sing. <laughs> participate in the law of circulation. So today there's a lot of love circulation, circulating, and wow. And as we all know, that money is just one way that love circulates. So if you'll take your gift in your hand, 
And just know with me as the abundance of God has flowed through my life, I in turn share my abundance as it goes forth, aiding in the world that works for all, for I am the hands of God. And our affirmation, I am worthy of an abundant life full of joy. She is the port in the 
are greatly received as they move forward, blessing our church, our community, and our world. And so it is. So it is. Thank you so much, Lou. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's put up Cleaning Our Good here. And we will say these all together. Here we go. I am paying attention in this moment. I am present and listening. I am alert and mindful. Listening helps me in all aspects of life. And so it is. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right place at the right time. I am just where I'm supposed to be. 